Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. Coming at you with another weekly roundup of theme park news, rumors, and opinions. SeaWorld Orlando just might have a job for you if you want to be a part of this year's Hallow Scream event. <laughs> the park will hold a Hallow Scream hiring event on June 6th at 6 p.m. at its port of call. Those interested in working Hallow Scream are encouraged to bring your best scares while enjoying free food and rides on SeaWorld's newest coaster pipeline. Fun. What a fun hiring event for sure. I know, right? <laughs> Woohoo. And SeaWorld is offering a chance to be hired on the spot. Nice. Hello Scream runs on select nights from September 8th through October 31st. Single night tickets and unlimited passes are available for purchase. Mm -hmm. For more information, visit SeaWorld.com slash Orlando. <laughs> slash because of Hello Scream. I get it. You remember last year's event, Nikki? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot, especially like the cruise ship one. That cruise ship house was great. Well, last year's event mm -hmm. had one of the best scare actors we've ever seen. Absolutely. Remember oh that gosh. seven foot zombie? Yes, and he actually responded to our yeah. video. He, he saw, comment. yeah, it was yeah. so great. It was <laughs> awesome. So. I hope he's back there. Me too. I hope you guys uh, go to the hiring event. Maybe you can scare us at Hello Scream. <laughs> and if you don't get the job, you'll have some food and fun. That's right. <laughs> don't get the gig, I should say. <laughs> don't get the gig. Uh, well, let's hope you do. Yeah. Disney annual pass holders now have a cool and quiet spot to take a break in at Epcot. A limited time pass holder lounge has been opened there. The special reserved area is located in Sunshine Seasons next to Living in the Land. Living with the Land. Yes, living, living with the, the land. land. With the land. <laughs> Among the land. <laughs> Sunshine Seasons next to Living with the Land. Yes. It features seating and complimentary snacks and water. The new lounge is part of Walt Disney World's VI Passholder Days. Mm -hmm. Passholders also have access to a phone charging area. And lockers are inside the lounge. The pass holder lounge will be open from park open to park close through June 30th, so this month. Awesome. What do you say, Nikki? Do you want to take a visit to Epcot next week? I would love to. I can make that happen. Let's make it happen. You can check out the new lounge there. Definitely, yep. And maybe get on Guardians, my favorite indoor coaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we must try. We must we'll, try. We'll, yeah, we'll definitely give it a shot. We'll wake we'll up try. early and try to get that boarding pass. Okay. You, you have way more luck than I do. But you wake up earlier than I do. I'll wake you up. To That's a 7 a.m. trial time to try to get that boarding pass. Yes, it is. That's early. Yes, it is. <laughs> we can do it, though. Awesome. Yes, yes, you can. I can get you up early. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, I don't have any news for Disney's Hollywood Studios this week, but I went there the other day, had some really good food, had some fun. Had a ride where I uh, recorded a POV. Mm -hmm. And I found some super fun summer merchandise as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. I will leave a link to that video in the description box. Please mm -hmm. go there if you're interested in some Disney content. And while you're there, please subscribe to the channel, Rick's in the Queue. Mm -hmm. It's all about food, fun, and merchandise inside the Disney theme parks. That's right. For those of you interested in Disney content, it's the place to be. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Oh, boy. Let's move on to Universal, Nikki. That's right. Minion Blast is inching its way closer to opening. It I'm is. so excited. Some of the exterior <laughs> construction walls have been removed around the attraction. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and as I said in the last Universal Update video, mm -hmm. I believe team members are testing. Either they started testing or they're about to test. Yep. Different groups of team members get to go try out the ride the attraction see how it's working yeah i'm so excited to see like the logistics of it you know mm -hmm. we kind of heard the the base premise right. of how it might work but you know I, I i'm kind of excited to see like you know i mean and the entrance to minion land 
is so adorable. It's a cute intro oh, sign. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they knocked it out of the park with that, you know, that signage. It's coming soon. Yeah, like you said, inching closer. Yes, it is. Now, Universal said the attraction will open this summer. Mm-hmm. They gave no specific date. Right. But it's now summer. So we're on Minion Watch. We're ready. Now, before you go to the comment box, say actually, summer starts June 20 whatever. Right. Kids are out of school. It's summertime, baby. <laughs> That's my calendar. That's what my calendar says. That's true. When kids are out of school. It's summer break. It's summer Well, at vacation. least in the South. I mean, like, you know, Southern states, uh, I think, right? Some Northern states might still well, be in school. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Um, I don't know. That's how I define summer is when the kids are out of school. So okay. we're we're in summer right now in Florida. Yes. Maybe if you're in a northern school and you're still in school, it's not summer for you yet. Yeah, see? But Universal is located in Florida. <laughs> and it's summer here in Florida. <laughs> all right, so you got all your technicalities covered there. All Get right, it, I got you, I got you. It's, it's coming sooner rather than later. Yes, it is. I'm we so hope. excited. Over at Disney's Magic Kingdom, it has been announced that Tiana's Bayou Adventure will include an original song and new characters. The attraction, based on Disney's Princess and the Frog, will pay homage to New Orleans with a new original song and new musical arrangements from the movie, the 2009 animated movie. Mm -hmm. Did I get the date right? Yes. Got the year. (laughs) The 2009 animated film. Or Courtney was eight years old then. (laughs) Yes. Yes, she was. Um, Tiana's Bayou Adventure will feature a new storyline that is set a year after the events in that film, though. Mm -hmm. Tiana is now the owner of Tiana Foods, which is set in an old salt mine, which is what that mountain is. Splash Mountain is now like an old salt mine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So during Mardi Gras, Tiana, Prince Naveen, Naveen? What's his name? I think it's Naveen. Naveen, okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure I got that right. Prince Naveen and Louis, Mm -hmm. they will set out on a trip through the bayou to find a missing ingredient for a special celebration. Kind of the storyline there. I like it. Visitors will join them on this quest and meet several characters, including new ones, along the way. Mm -hmm. Disney previously said the attraction will include dozens of animatronics, including Mama Odie and a band of critters. Okay. Look for that attraction to open sometime next year in 2024. And speaking of reimagined things, <laughs> because Splash Mountain was reimagined into Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Yes. Speaking of reimagined things, the reimagined Rick's Flicks Emporium had its grand reopening last week. Mm-hmm. It's the online Etsy shop created by Nikki. There is a link in the description box. Nikki has been busy creating new designs and restocking items that sold out fast. Yes, there was several designs that were quite the hit. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised. Absolutely. So some were surprising, some were obvious. Like I knew that night bus. Yeah, I knocked it out of the park with the night bus design. Honestly, I really, I was like, as soon as I put it together, I'm like, ah, this is it. I've got it. You (laughs) know? And then um, the globe too. The globe was another one that was like a really big hit. Yeah. And I was surprised. Um, the Narcissa one, based on, um, you know, Malfoy's yeah. mom, did really well, too. I was surprised on that one. Same thing with Luna. So I have, like, character-based ones. I have right. um, ride and theme-based ones. I'll stop you right there. Just for those who didn't tune in last week. Okay. What is it? What are these uh, creative items you're talking about? Okay. So I'm still going to do painting ornaments and things like that yes. but um i really wanted to do something that could be used year round so um i've been creating with silicone beads and wooden beads different designs for keychains or bag accessories yeah. um for like your lounge flies and things like that gotten a lot of custom orders which is great i have a lot of fun working with people so on these can things. be used with uh, as a keychain as a keychain you can put them on your lounge fly backpacks or, or, any, regular, ba- or, or any backpack or any backpack or bag you could even i would guess nikki you know how people have those luggage markers mm-hmm. the family they're they're flying so they mark their bags with certain things yes it could be used for that too couldn't it absolutely yeah. for sure okay. and it kind of like if you're you have a backpack and you can use the, the claw clasp to hook your two um, zipper pieces yeah. together and then keep your bag a little bit safer in the theme park. More secure. So um, that was just like another thing that I kind of was like, oh, you know, when I was thinking of ideas of what mm-hmm. to do um, with them. But yeah, I mean, it, it's gone really well. Um, and I've gotten some feedback on them and people have appreciated, I think, the okay. um, the the construction of it. If, okay. if they said it feels well constructed. So that was that's a good feedback. And did you just earn a badge on Etsy? I did. I, I 
what was my badge? Oh no, customer, you me customer service badge. I got a customer badge. service badge. Yeah. She was telling me about it before. I was all like, hey, I got a badge. You know, so it's it's silly and ridiculous, but it's kind of fun. It gives you motivation anyway. But um, yeah, so I do custom designs and everything. Work right with you to help you come up with something you know unique for. Your a key chain or your bag or whatever, I know. All uh, right, moving on to more important things that you guys care about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm trying to. I'm trying. Oh, one, okay. one last news item to mention. Perfect, okay. and this is a fun one. The Orlando Informer meetup just occurred mm -hmm. this past weekend yeah. at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Mm -hmm. We attended, had a super fun time as always. Always. Now, tickets for the 2023 winter meetup, they are going to go on sale June 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. And you want to log on a little before 10 a.m. because I think a virtual queue does form. Gotcha. Uh, the event dates for the winter meetup, they're going to be November 17th and 18th, mm -hmm. and then December 1st and 2nd, and then again December 8th and 9th, 2023. Yes. And for the first time ever, something new, the Orlando Informer mini meetup will be on November 16th and December 7th. Okay? Mm -hmm. The mini meetup is... Just at Islands of Adventure. Mm -hmm. And it's adults only, an adult only event. So you have to be 18 years old or older okay. for the mini meetup. The after hours event will give you access to beloved Universal Islands of Adventure lands while indulging in upgraded unlimited food and taking advantage of little to no weights. Nice. Tickets for the mini meetup also go on sale June 6th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Mm, I'm excited about that. I mm -hmm. like the new spin on it. Yeah, I just that see one. Cool stuff. We've been to a lot of a lot of these events. So uh -huh. I've done vlogs in the past. I haven't done like a true vlog in a while where you just follow me around. But I think for the mini meetup, since it's different, right? And it's 18 plus, and going to have the um, the elevated menus that I'll just do like a regular follow me around vlog for that one. I love it. So great. And if you haven't seen any of the other OIE, you know, meetup vlogs that we have, mm -hmm. um, we have, like, it should, you know, if you... I'll find some, I'll link them in oh, the yeah, description box. Yeah, exactly. And then we have one that has all, like, the some background tips. history, yeah. the best tips and background history of yeah. Orlando Informer and yeah. things like that, so... We have a, a few different styles. Yeah, we do. Of those. I have one where I even just, like, all I did was eat Harry Potter ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> the hard pack ice cream. Yeah, I mean, it's so fun. You can do an OI event any way you want. I'll try to find those links and put them in this description box, too. Yeah. And remember, like, after this video is over, you'll have those links to check out. You'll have the Etsy link to check out. And don't forget, Rick's in the queue. There's mm -hmm. a link for that for those of you interested in Disney content. Yes. It's the place to be. Yeah, and who knows what kind of shenanigans we're going to get into over there, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> fun stuff always and as always don't miss the magic don't miss the fun see you next time his name is Rick her name is Nikki showing how theme parks are done don't miss the magic don't miss the fun hit subscribe